So we finally have a launch date for Zen 3, October the 8th, 2020, when all will be revealed. The first question that will be answered is, will Zen 3 be 4000 or 5000 CD CPUs? The reason being, AMD has already released their 4000 series APUs, which are based on Zen 2 and not Zen 3, i.e. their last gen, so likely to sow confusion in the minds of prospective buyers, many assuming that a 4700X and a 4700G are of the same generation when they are not. Though it is likely AMD will keep the confusing naming scheme and the Zen 3 will likely be 4000 series processors. Whilst the RDNA 2 cards are going to be launched some 3 weeks later on the 28th of October that I'm sure will come close to the Nvidia's 3080 in terms of price versus performance. The second question to be answered is, what's the typical IPC increase? My expectations since May have been to expect an increase of between about 15% and 22% per SKU, for which we still remain on target to achieve. The third question to be answered is price, where it is highly probable that the processors will be able to come in at the same price point as their Zen 2 CPU counterparts at launch, i.e. the 4900X should cost $499 and the 4950X $750 and so on. The fourth question to be answered is will we get a 10 core processor that directly competes with Intel's 10900K, which was the focus of my last video as it does look more likely than not that we will get a 10 core 20 thread Ryzen CPU running at at least 5 GHz aimed at taking the gaming crown away from Intel. In fact all of the Zen 3 Ryzen's will be tweaked towards beating their Intel competitor CPU in terms of gaming performance. And the last question to be answered is will we see a 20 core Ryzen processor or not? This is more a wish than any probability of actually happening, as I've seen nothing suggest that this is going to happen in, for Zen 3 anyway, maybe Zen 4. Anyway, now we know when the long wait will finally be over, but for all those waiting for news on Zen 3 Threadrippers, then we will likely have to keep waiting for announcement likely during February 2021. Meanwhile, Intel will continue to die its slow death as their CPU releases keep getting kicked down the road, all whilst AMD will march on from Zen 3 to 5 nanometer Zen 4 next year. If Intel cannot compete against Zen 2, then how are they going to compete against Zen 4, let alone Zen 3? And finally, here once more are my estimated Cinebench R20 scores for the Ryzen Zen 3 processors of how I expect the SKUs to perform. For multi-core, <coughs> I am expecting typical gains of 18% across the board with 20% for the 5900X and 22% for the 5950X, whilst I'm expecting smaller gains in single core performance or 15 or 16% gains over Zen 2. Anyway, we will soon find out, probably mid-September, whether AMD delivers on expectations or not. As if AMD does deliver, then I will definitely be looking at upgrading to a 16-core 5950X system, that's rather than a Threadripper, as a Cinebench score of over 11,000 on multi and 600 on single would ensure there is plenty of power under the hood meaning that I won't have to end up paying an extra £1,500 or so for a 24-core Threadripper system. And do remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more tech videos in this ongoing war between Intel and AMD that AMD is winning. <laughs>